Let's not lie. Sophie Momodu is doing very, very well with that child, Imade, the, the first and first child of Davido and Sophie, Imade. I saw the child speaking brilliant, brilliantly when it comes to French. Okay. She was very, very fluent in the French accent and the language in general. I was kind of like impressed. I wouldn't lie to you. Let's not lie. Sophie is doing very, very, very well in raising that child. She's doing brilliant, brilliantly well as a single parent taking care of this child. Now that the father is not in the picture. I also heard that um, David Doe did something. I'm going to allow you guys to first of all watch this video. I know many of you will be wondering where is patience heading to. I have where I'm heading to. And I would like you guys to listen first to the very video of uh, Imade where she spoke. Si tu as un problème, viens à moi et je peux régler ce problème. Ou tu peux dire à ton maître ou ton maîtresse. Et je suis gentil avec tout. Et si tu as un problème avec moi, je peux changer tout de suite. Règle 1. Je t'aime beaucoup. Et pourquoi je peux être la présidente de la classe Parce que je peux aider tout le monde, mon fellow aux enfants. C'est pas juste pour que les fameuses et se glorie, non. C'est pas pour ça. C'est pour aider tous mes amis, je t'aime. Et, et tout mon, mon, mon professeur. Je, je t'aime nature. Je aime être comme les. Je t'aime tout. Même si le harceleur, je t'aime, le... je ne t'aime pas le harceleur, mais je t'aime toute l'école. Toute l'école. <rire> Et ça, c'est parce que je, je peux être la présidente de la classe pour aider mes amis, pour, pour mon classe être spéciale. Merci beaucoup. Et merci pour me entendre et écouter. Ça, c'est Imade et Sophia Pronto. Bisous, bisous. Now, bisous, bisous. I want to talk about Sophie and Davido. Sophie is doing very, very well with this, with this uh, beautiful child of uh, Davido. We've been seeing series of dramas about Sophie not allowing Davido access to the child. And I wouldn't lie, Sophie has really done a great job in raising this child i see the child doing brilliantly well when it comes to our education she's really really brilliant and now i want to also say something there was a circulating news about the very good friend of sophie who collected some presents from david and it was like a secret between her and david because he wanted to pass a present to his child which is imade and then he secretly, he secretly confided in Sophie's good friend and then allegedly gave the present the presents to that very friend and that very friend took this presents to Sophie and presented it as as if it's not David that brought bought the presents for his child and guess what a blogger posted everything and said that the gift was coming directly from David o. and in case you're asking who is the blogger it was cutie juice that leaked that secret that it wasn't um that friends uh, that, that got those gifts it was actually Davido that got the gift for his child he he confided in that very friend of uh, Sophie so as to pass the present to his daughter which I find nothing wrong with with that i don't find anything wrong with that so according to the circulation circulating uh, news they said sophie got very very upset that the friend could go as far as taking gift from uh, 
David without letting her know and then making her to believe that she was the person that bought the gift for Imade. And then according to circulation, Sophie is still very, very upset with her friend for conniving with David. Okay, now, now here is my point. Even though Sophie is doing well, you know, raising this child, but can you raise this child all alone without the help of the dad, knowing very well that the father is well to do? You know, I don't understand. I don't, I kind of want to know the thing that is making Sophie not to want David o to even gift his child, even using his friend, as in her friend, to get to the child. It don't make sense. So. Because at the end of the day, you will see that you preventing the father not for not being in the life of the child, it's complete a wasted yes. Yes. You will come regret some in the nearest future. That's why we say, you need to really, really just move on. You know, even though you are doing very well with the child, you still need to just move on with your own life. So that when you, when the man wants to be in this child's life, it doesn't really affect you. Because at the end of the day, there are so many things this, this child lacked from her father that she's not been getting, like the other kids. And remember, this is Davido's very, very first child. The son is too much. This is Davido's very, very first child, which Davido needs to really be in the life of this child. Do you get? So I kind of want to know. Sophie being a wonderful mother, taking care of this child, it's not an easy task. Oh. I've seen single mothers, you know, cry for like, they want to have somebody that will even help them watch over their child. Someone that can, that can support them financially as in to take care of their, their child. It's not like those single moms aren't doing well. They don't have a job of their own. They have. But you see that burden. It's as if somebody just come and lift your burden and then you are happy, you know, free, you know. It is also a plus. It's going to be a plus for Sophie. Because right now, now Sophie, they carry all the burdens. She's not like the father, the mother, all combined. Knowing very well that this child knows her father. And the child, the father not being in her life. Don't you know that kids, they keep things in their hearts. They will just hide it from you because they know if they tell you, it's going to get to you. You're going to feel bad. You're not going to like it that uh, they, they feel like having uh, contact with their dad. They don't go want me to tell you. But really, if it happened, there are so many children out there whose uh, parents, um, you know, uh, they are not with their, they're, they're not together. And guess what? These kids will feel that pain. But they wouldn't like to tell their mom because they know that their mom might feel bad if they tell, tell their mom that, oh, I miss my dad, you know, because... They know very well that mom is the one providing everything. So if I go to tell my mom now that I miss my father, it's as if I'm being uh, uh, ungrateful. So these kids will keep those things in their heart and they wouldn't come to tell you. I don't know how, how deep David, David o might have offended Sophie to the length that even when David secretly or uh, uh, secretly contacted her friend, bought gift for and. Um, Imade and gave it to the friend to pass it to the child. Sophie still rejected and rejected it and, you know, stopped talking to her very good friend who collected that gift. My people get a CBO. I don't understand. But when it comes to the areas of doing, of taking care of this child, I will not lie. Sophie is doing brilliantly well, you know, but I still feel that this child needs to have access to her dad she needs to be the dad needs to be in her life i believe that's one of the vacuum the child has in her heart but not telling it to the mother yes that one are for sure but sophie you're doing well anyways but i still think you have to rethink and allow the child access to the dad allow the dad to see the child you don't get anything we didn't move for your body now thanks for watching anyway i'm patience blogs and i'll catch you guys in my next one please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel patience blogs official thanks for watching bye people